Okay, so today on Photoshop Tutorials, we're just going to be doing some interior lighting effects, which can help your photographs or whatever you have with an interior lighting effect. So, what we're going to want to start off doing is by adjusting the image, by going to Image, Adjustments, and going to Levels. And you'll get this box right here, and you can just play with the settings to get a lighter output or a darker output and you can also just slightly adjust these middle arrows to get different settings so once you're happy with the settings and you play around with it and you see you have a nice lighting effect you can hit OK and for this picture I actually have a window up here on the ceiling and it's bringing down some light and creating shadows but we don't really see a sun so what we can do is we can copy the background layer and render a sun by going to filter render and clicking on lens flare and you can put this sun right in the window and you can choose what kind of lens flare you want I'd choose a 105 millimeter prime and you can adjust the brightness of it but you don't want to make it too bright because that would be very unrealistic like that so just bring the brightness down to what you want and click OK. And you've got a nice little sun right there. With And you can ch change the opacity just to make the sun a little less bright. And to fix this up now, you want to come to Image, Adjustments, Curves. Or you can click Control M on your keyboard. So what you can do from here is you can plot points on this line graph to adjust the way the image looks again with the lens flare in it. And you can keep plotting points to get the different effects you... And uh, really you just have to play around with it until you get something you really like. There's no actual way to tell what you want or what you're going to get. Depends on the photograph but you can play around with it once you get the setting you like you can hit OK and you're done you have a regular or an advanced interior lighting in Photoshop and that's very simple to do